Okay. Hey guys, it's Catherine Norland. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that I was gonna go live today at 8 a.m., but those of you who saw it and are here, welcome. Uh, you may have noticed that there's been a problem with my Instagram page. Um, I made a video about it, which I will be posting probably tomorrow, maybe. Um, so if you can't find me there, hi Vias, good morning. That is why. So um, I labeled today's talk, uh, never be disappointed. Or no, never be discouraged. Never be discouraged. Uh, some of you may have noticed my Instagram page is missing and very easy to get discouraged over that. Somebody hacked me on, I think Friday. And then as of Saturday, my page, even though I changed my password, my page completely disappeared on Saturday. I've tried reporting it. I've tried reaching out to whoever there is to reach out to. I've tried sending emails. Um, I, I don't even see my page. So um, it can be discouraging. Uh, thank you, Shakala, uh, to think about. So that's why I labeled my talk today, Never Be Discouraged. Uh, it took me like seven or eight years to build up the 44,000 followers I have. <laughs> and now they've all disappeared. And um, it's interesting how when you set out to do a goal or you set out to, to do something, especially if you're a believer and you love God, it's like the devil hears that, then he goes on a mission. He's on an assignment to try to make sure that dream doesn't happen. Hi, Winnie. And um, <clears throat> hey, Lily. Uh, so I was just telling some people earlier this week I, my goal for in the next year is to um, publish a book and get a traditional publisher. Now I've self-published three books and I've had, hey Walla, uh, I've had publishers say, we love your book, hey Farik, but you're not, you don't have enough of a following. You don't have a big enough fan base yet. Hey, Karen. Hey, Clara. So I was getting excited. I was like, you know what? I have 44,000 followers now. And these uh, book publishers said, you need 100,000 followers in order for us to consider publishing a book from you. So we know that it will sell, da, da, da. So I was, this week, I was like, Oh my goodness, I'm almost halfway there. Then I can get my dream of publishing a book with a traditional publisher. And I had no which book I'm gonna do, blah, blah, blah. And then my account is gone. My Instagram account has disappeared and all 44,000 followers. So yeah, that was discouraging, which is why our talk today, uh, thank you, Wala. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Forgive me if I'm not. Um, I tried to call Instagram, but they were not answering or they said they were too busy or whatever. So if you guys noticed my Instagram page went missing, I can't get into it. And so I had to start a new page yesterday. I have less than a hundred followers now. Um, so if you guys want to find my new page, I started yesterday. It's Kat Norland. K-A-T Norland. Uh... So that's my nickname, Cat, Cat Eyes, whatever. Hey, uh, Blackberry. Um, hi, Lily. So we're going to get to some Q&As with you guys, whatever you want to ask me. But I'm going to start out with this poem I found yesterday called... Oh, yes, we can't do it. You can't do it? So Why don't you try? Let me see you try. Let me see. You're not going to. That's why you hold the spatula. I gave him the assignment of getting their breakfast out of the oven while I'm on the live, but my 13-year-old is too scared. He's scared he's going to burn himself. So 
So hold that thought. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get their food out of the oven. Give me 40 seconds. <clears throat> back okay hi amber sorry i had to go give my kids their food so those of you just joining me i was talking about today's talk is never be discouraged and i was letting everyone know hey frank hey jingle bobs hey philip hey your ex-husband <laughs> hey nona did i say that right noah maybe it's noah hey orly hey uzamaki okay so those of you just joining me, uh, hi, Isabel. Hi, Veer. <clears throat> hey, Raul. Uh, yes, that's, we were just talking about that. Hey, MD Abdul. Uh, just talking about how today's talk is called Never Be Discouraged. Hey, Ethan, because yesterday my Instagram page disappeared and I have no access to it. I can't get in. I've try to contact whoever there is to contact. Uh, I tried to do the thing on the phone to reset it, change my password, put in the codes. Um, it's thunder, thank you. I tried emailing back the emails they sent me and trying to stop it that way. Hey, Philip, hey, Khadijah. Um, <laughs> Philip should be in bed, ah! And so my Instagram page has disappeared. Hi, Alicia, and all 44,000 fans poof, gone. So trying not to be discouraged yesterday was, was, was a nice battle of the emotions and stuff I talk to you guys all about all the time. And sometimes you guys are going to go through stuff that seems really discouraging. <clears throat> uh, I think I know what fishing is. Um, and you're going to go through things that are discouraging or you're going to have bad thoughts about it. Hey, Lizette. And you have to learn to manage your emotions. So is, is getting frustrated going to help the situation? No. Is, is crying going to help the situation? No. Is getting angry going to help the situation? No. When you go into those emotions and you let them overcome you and overtake you, hey, creative argon three, all it does is ruin the situation. Because once you allow those emotions to overtake you, then you're not thinking clearly. Then you can't even get new ideas about, oh, what should I do about this? What should I do about that? Because you've allowed your emotions to overtake you. Hey, Angela. So that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to have our emotions overtake us and yeah so uh, i'll be reading a small poem from the book poems with power to strengthen the soul okay it's called be never discouraged be never discouraged look up and look on when the prospect is darkest the cloud is withdrawn the shadows that blacken the earth and the sky speak to the strong-hearted. Salvation is nigh. Okay, those dark clouds, it's speaking to the strong-hearted that salvation is nigh. Nigh means it's close. Sometimes, it, you know, like saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. And remember when they hung Jesus up to be crucified, there was like a total eclipse of the sun and the entire world went black. And he was killed and put in that tomb. But guess what? Three days later, whew, resurrection. A resurrection that can be so proven, it's verified. There is more proof that he rose from the dead even from secular sources, 
then that other gods we follow in other religions even existed. There's more proof. I just got off topic, but it made me think of that. Okay, be never discouraged if you would secure the earth's richest blessings and make heaven sure. Hey, Philip, yield not in the battle, nor quail in the blast. The brave and unyielding win nobly at last. When you're going through a trial, when you're, hey, the mask killer, Sore Blakely, when you're going through something horrific, are you going to be brave and unyielding? Because if you're brave and unyielding, you will nobly win the battle at last. Hey, HQ girl. So being brave and unyielding in the face of what's coming against you. Lily, you don't have to cry. Crying's not gonna help the situation. Yeah, sometimes it's okay to cry, to cleanse ourselves, let the emotions out, but to keep ourselves in a perpetual state of, of grief is not healthy for us. MTA fan, hey. Um, so be never discouraged. Don't be discouraged over this. Be never discouraged by day and by night. Have glory in prospect the prospect of what's to come. Be thinking about the glory to come. What is the good that's going to come out of this? Hey, Harry, that you have to believe that there's some good because Romans tells us God works all things together for our good, for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. So no matter how dark it looks now, no matter how bad it looks, have glory in prospect because you know God is going to work all things out for your good. So, have glory in prospect and wisdom in sight. Last stanza. Undaunted. Don't be daunted by this. Don't be daunted by whatever you're going through. Undaunted and faithful. You never will fail though kingdoms oppose you. Guys, this is entire kingdoms coming against this person, entire cities, entire nations. Though kingdoms oppose you and devils assail. You could have the devil himself coming at you. And D.C. Colesworthy is telling us, be never discouraged, even if entire kingdoms, cities, and the devil himself comes against you, okay? So if it were me and I were writing this poem, actually, I would flip the last two lines because I like to end on something positive. We in America like happy endings to our, our, our stories and our movies. So I would flip it and I would instead say, though kingdoms oppose you and devils assail, undaunted and faithful, you never will fail. That's me. Somebody hacked me. Somebody took my Instagram page away. I lost my Instagram page that I have worked on for seven or eight years, that I had over 1,200 posts and lost all 44,000 followers. But we are going to be undaunted and unyielding and trust that whatever happens, God's going to work it out. If I'm meant to start from scratch, I'll have to start from scratch. So those of you who don't um, know, I just had to start a new page yesterday. So um, it's Kat Norland, if you want to find me on Instagram. Maybe I can get up to 100 followers today. <laughs> it's much different than the 44,000, but hey, now I actually have time to answer my messages. See, that's one positive trait of not having 44,000 followers of fans. I may not get a book deal anytime soon, but look, I have time to answer your messages. So that's where we're at today. Be never discouraged, no matter what you're going through. Um, Harry, I don't know if you should unfollow it. Um, I'm hoping I'll get it back. I'm hoping that Instagram is going to look into it and they're going to find whoever took my account and get it back to me. I don't know if that's possible. 
but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm believing, I'm praying that I get my account back. So I would hang tight unless my former account is sending you weird messages or I don't know, just know any message you get from my Catherine Norland on Instagram. Currently, I don't have control of it. Somebody else, <clears throat> Raul said somebody hacked his Instagram. Hi, sweetheart. What's going on? You want to join our live? Oh. I thought he was going to join our live and then he fell down and bonked his head. Oh, sweetheart. Things just don't go the way we want them to sometimes, do they? Sorry, that was so scary. Were you so scared? Were you so scared? Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. See, sometimes things don't go the way we want them to, do they? Let's not be discouraged, sweetheart. I'm here. Did you hurt yourself? Or we, did you just get scared? You hurt your head? Okay. Let me see. Father, please take away all the pain. Make sure there's no more pain and no more sadness and no more fear. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You feeling better? You feeling a little better? Okay. No. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Lily said she's been in a car accident with her sister. Uh, Cecile says, lovely parents to care for our children. Lily says, amen. Uh -huh. So, no, Nomar Perez said he got hit by a car. Ooh, are you okay? What happened? Jitterbug says, amen. Are you feeling better? Um, yeah, Lily, we just read that. I hope you guys are okay. I hope these weren't recently. Hey, Miss Catherine, Sarah says. Uh, Winnie says, I'm not used to cat Norland. Yeah, cat's kind of a nickname, but yeah, I'm, I'm more used to Catherine as well. I have followed your Catherine Norland account. Should I report that? I think <laughs> Lily already reported it. A bunch of, I think, oh, are you mad now? Oh, are we mad that we fell down? Are we, uh, you got to learn to manage your emotions. We were just talking about, oh, you're pushing me away. Am I not your friend anymore? Uh, hey, Jennifer, got to learn to manage your emotions. We'll teach you about that when you get bigger. Something I, I needed to learn Some earlier. Person had to sit. What? Did you, yeah. did you eat your breakfast? No, I didn't eat did, did, did Timmy give you your breakfast? Okay, so we go back and we do things the old-fashioned way. We take out a full-page ad in the newspaper. Yes, old is gold. Okay, I don't even know if I got the accent right. I have to be like in full makeup and costume to get my accent right. No, that's my old lady accent. Barb had a different accent. Okay. Somebody hacked my Instagram account today. Oh, that happened to you today. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Is that Eli? <laughs> Who's that little boy? Who's that little boy? Oh, hey, cover your mouth when you cough. Please tell hi to me. Oh, sorry. I. You'll have to put your name up again because I missed it. I've been in Malaysia with my family. I've been in close contact with COVID-19 cases. So what does that mean? You're helping people? You used a different voice in the recent Darman video you were in. Yes, the one with uh, Barb, where I did old as gold. I tried to do a, a different accent, different. Yeah, I guess it would be an accent or a dialect. <laughs> uh, when is the video where you're on drug and alcoholic coming out? Oh, okay, so that wasn't for Darman. That was an audition. <gasps> That was an audition I did for a feature film, and uh, I don't even know if I got the part. So they, I haven't heard back from them. The casting director said I did a good job, um, but yeah. You got bullets? Uh, okay, yeah, so. Yeah, I got bullets. Uh, Jolene says hi. Oh, is it Jolene? Oh, we got, got a, we got somebody else wanting to come and say hello. You got bullets. Can you please shout me out? Alice, Alice Johnson? 
You you just lose your IG, but here you are. <laughs> no, my aunts and cousins uh, have been in contact with their friend with COVID. Winnie says you're amazing. Safa, say hi to Safa. They're saying hi, Timmy. Anya, my mom and dad is G. Did you have? Why did you have to play an old woman in the recent video? Uh, they wanted like a, a middle-aged woman because she was stuck in her old ways. She did. She wasn't on social media. She was. She you know. She just thought, well, what's, this is what worked in the past, and we used to always put ads in newspapers. So she didn't want to get. Yes, you can ask me a question, Julene. Am I saying your name right? Uh, she was stuck in the past. Uh, Timmy, Angela said you have nice eyes. He says, thank you. They're like a greenish, green, greenish yellow uh, or yellowish green. Hey, dog raiders. Please tell me hi. Aswad, Sammy, Rahman. Did I say it right? <laughs> 2014, cousins first grade in Malaysia, Chinese school. Yes, dog raiders, you can ask me a question. Jennifer says, I love your hair and eyes. Oh, somebody said they landed on their face. Was that from the car accident? I didn't catch it all. It was moving too fast. My mom and dad are getting divorced and I'm feeling depressed and lonely. I am so sad. Hi, this. Uh, I'm so sorry for you. You guys, say, say a prayer for that person who just said their parents are getting divorced. You have to know that it's nothing to do with you. You have to know it's not your fault. Grown-ups will sometimes make decisions that we don't always agree with. And and don't just feel sad and lonely. Pray, start praying for your parents, okay? They may be going through a lot of emotional stuff and they don't know how to deal with it. So just, you know, pray for them and, and we'll pray for you. Okay, so there's a couple questions that went by that I missed. So if I haven't answered your question yet, just go ahead and retype it. Yes, Nomar, amen. I mean, major cause of depression. Okay, dog raiders, I think I missed part of your question. You're, so you're talking about depression. What is the specific question? Hey, Jarell, I only live with my auntie because my mom and dad died. Does she treat you well? I hope so. Um, I'm getting through depression right now, Lily said. How are you today, Jennifer? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm blessed to be, well, I was going to say I'm blessed to be th this side of the ground. In other words, not underground, not dead. But if you think about it, I'd be blessed either way. <laughs> Every day is great because we're either one step closer to our goals or we're one step closer to heaven. So, hey. It's win-win if you think about it. Okay, Nightmare Seer says you are the best. I feel like people are faking not to be mean. I don't understand what you're saying. Julie Brown was in the latest dark, oh, sorry, they're moving too fast. Are there any videos coming out with Aiden Mikas? You know, v Vias, I'm not there every day, so I don't know who's filming when. I guess the best thing to do is to all the actors you like from Darman, follow their personal channels and maybe they'll post. Sometimes they post pictures or whatever when they're shooting or on set. So that's probably the best way to find out. Um, the Darman Studios has expanded. Oh, Anya, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm sure they're gonna, he's gonna visit you, right? Do your best to keep in contact with your dad and Try not to be angry at him for his decisions. You know, most of the time, even when people make bad decisions, they're not going out and making a bad decision on purpose. They believe that they're doing what's right for them at the time, and they don't realize the impact it's had on you. And if you're able, you know, next time you see your dad, I know you said he's leaving, Next time you see him, let him know how much he means to you. Let him know that you miss him. And and let him know oh, your mom's having an affair and I didn't tell him. That's a hard position to be to be caught in. And it might not be your place to tell him. Um 
but just let him know how much you miss him and you love him and let your dad know you want to keep a relationship with him, that you don't want to drift apart, that you want him in your life. So work it out that you can see him, you know, whenever you can on weekends or whatever it is. And just tr you try to make, even if you're, mom doesn't want you to see him or whatever you you do your best to maintain that relationship because i'm sure he loves you i'm sure your mom loves you i'm sure they both love you they just couldn't get along so don't listen to any voices that try to come into your head that tell you something about this may have been your fault that if you had been a better kid or better this because these attacks will come and assault our mind and try to make us feel guilty about things we had nothing to do with. So take heart, take heart, my dear. It, it, will, get, it will get easier. It's gonna be an adjustment, but I believe you're strong enough to handle it. Okay, so um, Vias wants me to talk about the situation in which I accuse Marcus of drugs in that video. So let me first finish the other thought I was talking about. So um, when I started with Darman Studios, they were uh, putting two videos out a week. And um, then it went to three videos a week. And now they're putting out four videos a week. I think Monday through Thursday. You guys, if that's wrong, just let us know. You might know better than me. Um, so now they have two teams. So when I started, it was just two people. It was two guys doing the whole thing. Now, when we're on set, there's usually, I'd say about five people. So they've more than doubled their crew and now they have two crews. So, um, they have two crews. So now they're doing like a day shift and a night shift so they can, because the scripts have gotten longer, um, you guys maybe have noticed, we went from making like five and six minute videos to sometimes making 12 minute up to 20 minute videos. Cause you guys on YouTube are, have been requesting longer videos. So um, you've been requesting longer videos. Hi, sweetheart. So they can't get them all shot in a day. It used to be when it was the short videos, we could have one team and it would just take all day to shoot one. So when they were shooting four days a week or five days a week, we could make four or five videos a week. But now that they're, um, I don't know who hacked my Instagram page. If I knew that, maybe I could do something about it. <laughs> um, now that the longer scripts, we have to take two days to shoot a video. Sometimes, uh, next week they have one with a famous person they're collaborating with. I think, okay, I think it's okay for me to say because I think Dar's already announced it. He's doing a collab with Supercar Blondie. Um, she's got millions of followers on YouTube and she's this blonde girl who's into cars. What are you doing? What you doing? Oh, he is so clever. I put the gummy bears where he couldn't reach them in the kitchen. Uh, I put them closer to this wall. Look at him. But he found a way to access them from the living room side. He's pulling up his chair close. See these kids? They're just so brilliant. He's pulling up his chair closer so he can get to the gummy bears. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to watch him steal gummy bears when he's supposed to be eating his healthy breakfast I made him. Yeah, you're caught. You're caught. We're all watching you. You're caught red-handed. You're caught. Thing is, he needs me to open them. He can't even open them on their own. On his own. <laughs> See, what happens when I'm on these lives? What happens when I'm on these lives is the kids just think, oh, mom's busy, so we can just get into, get into gummy stuff. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Who thinks I should open these gummy bears for him? Do we have any vote? Oh. Uh, I have to have to I have to see if it's okay with my fans if I open these gummy bears for you. He's putting them in my hand. All right, I have to have somebody tell me it's okay to. Okay, they're telling me open it. All right, here we go. Did you eat your brother? Did you eat your breakfast already? Don't you know you're jumping on that chair? But remember, you just fell down ten minutes ago and it hurts your head. So let's. Okay, they said it's okay for me to open the gummy bears for you. No, we don't throw wrappers on the floor. 
You're going to have to pick that up and put it in the trash. Put it in the trash? Yeah, pick it up. Pick it up. I need you to pick up that wrapper. Thank put you. It in the trash? I'm not putting it in the trash. You're going to go put it in the trash. You go put your wrapper in the trash. That's your garbage. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. So, Supercar Blondie. He's doing a collab with her, I think, next week, and it's a three-day shoot. So, we have two teams now. I'm trying to sum this up as fast as I can so I can get to your um, questions. Three days. We're shooting three days. So, if we are doing these long things that are taking two or three days to shoot, we're not going to make our schedule of posting four videos a week. So, we have two teams now that have been trained. So we have a team shooting day shift and we have a team shooting night shift. So sometimes we'll have to go into work at 6 a.m. or sometimes we'll have to go to work like at 3 p.m. So um, thank you, Harry. I also have a little matching, little matching skirt with a polka dots the same color. Uh, just hardly ever wear this color, coral. So I'm glad you guys think it looks nice. Okay, so we're shooting two shifts. We're shooting two, it's not two films a day because now it's taking two days to shoot a film. So it's still making it so we're shooting one film a day because each film is taking two days because they're so much longer. Okay, back to the questions. Uh, Vios says, the recent car mechanic video is very similar to the one with Ashley's. Um, I don't think it's very similar. Actually, I really like that car mechanic video. I mean, the only thing the only thing similar is that the, the dad showed up instead of the mom showing up. But other than that, the story was nothing like it. I mean, a girl getting bullied about her weight. Um, well, I guess you could say it's similar. I don't think it's very similar, but... To me, it was to me it was much different. But yeah, I, I now now that I think about it and say it out loud, I can see your point, Vias. I should trust you because you study these. You probably watch these more than I do, so we'll give you that one. Okay, it's me, Greg, Catherine. Do you know what Dar Man, where foster mom has been treating a foster child? Uh, are you asking where it was shot? Um, part of it was shot at Dar Man Studios, and part of it was shot at a location. No more. No more, no more gummies. No, all done with gummies. Just one bit. No more. No, Eli. Okay. Where can I? Where can I put the? Where can I put these where you can't reach them? I'm gonna go hide these. No more gummies. You, did you eat your breakfast, Timothy? Did he eat his breakfast yet, Timothy? No, he did. Oh, you didn't. Timmy said you didn't eat your breakfast. No, no more gummies. Okay, come on. All right, give me 30 seconds. I'll be back. Uh, uh, no more gummies. You gotta eat your breakfast. Where, where did you put his breakfast? And drink your smoothie. It's got lots of good fruits and veggies in. Okay, mom life, yes. Uh, questions. Now you can put your questions. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Oh, three wishes, three wishes. Number one wish, wisdom. More wisdom, more wisdom, more wisdom. That would probably be all three wishes. Because if I had more wisdom, I could have anything attainable to me. So, hey, hey, no, sweetheart. Don't get mad. Don't get mad because you don't get what you want, Elijah. Don't hit, don't hit that. Hey, hey. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wish for wisdom. I only need one wish. That's, that's what Solomon did, right? If you guys read the Old Testament, Solomon asked for wisdom, and he ended up becoming the richest man in the entire world. Not that that's what I'm seeking, but I could solve any problem I ever had if, if it were, if I had wisdom. Okay, Jarell is asking me what I would be doing if I wasn't acting. 
Well, I could see myself being a speaker or a teacher or a pastor. Um, you know, a kind of a fantasy kind of job. I would love to be like, like a weird Al Yankovic and take popular songs and change the lyrics. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but if you look him up, Weird Al Yankovic was this famous guy, I think in the 90s, maybe the 80s and 90s, and into the 2000s. And um, he would take popular songs and he would just change all the lyrics. So, uh, for instance, the, the, the rap song, Gangster's Paradise, <laughs> He changed the lyrics to, I'm living in an Amish paradise. Super silly. Super silly um, how he changed the... Oh, Michael Jackson had a famous song in the 80s called Beat It, Beat It, Beat Up. He changed the lyrics and made this whole video called Eat It, Eat It, and he just was eating, eating. I don't know, super silly, but I could kind of see myself doing something fun and silly like that. I love writing comedy stuff. Okay, Catherine, do you know Aiden Mikas and a good relationship with him? I know him because I've worked with him many, many times. Um, I have to say, I would say yes, we have a good relationship, but we've never hung out or anything outside of, thank you, Angela, outside of work, although I've asked him to collaborate on a video with him. We have yet to do it. He kind of thought it sounded like a good idea at the time, but we'll see. So, uh, yes. Um, I don't think I've ever hung out with anybody on the Darman set, outside of the Darman set, unless it was people I got working on the Darman set. So for instance, um, I don't know if you know TJ Myers, we hang out, I got her on the Darman set. She was in three, but they only showed two of hers. Uh, Dory, do you guys know Dory Webster, the old lady? I got her the gig, um, the opportunity with Darman. So we, ha we, we hang out. Uh, Nick, Nick Sarando, I got him the opportunity um, and several people. So those were people I already knew. So they were already in my circle of friends or actors or whatever. So I've hung out with them outside of set. But I haven't hung out with anybody else other than just filming there. And hey, Clarence, of course I notice you, Clarence Lopez. So honestly, Darman sets aren't like other film sets. Other film sets are kind of slow and it takes, pe takes people a while to get going, where I feel like the Darman sets are more organized and they just keep moving, 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 and it's... It's nonstop. There's not a lot of downtime to like hang out and shoot the breeze like on regular sets where hours and hours can go by and you're just sitting there and they're not using you. They've got everybody scheduled at certain times to come in based on when they think they'll get to that scene. So there's not, I mean, chit chat or whatever. Okay. Why did Adam Aiden Mikas give the teacher an apple instead of his homework? Oh, well, I think he was just trying to kiss up to the teacher. Just just trying to, did you, via, Vias, did you notice I had an, I didn't, a slight Southern accent in that video too. Um, no wonder Dar cranks out so many episodes. Yeah, Jennifer, you're welcome. Okay, and it pays off. Darman videos have great quality. Um, are there any Darman bloopers out there? I have to tell you, when I was shooting, <laughs> I don't know if they keep the bloopers, I don't know if they're setting them aside, but when we were shooting this week, I guess it was this last week, I was shooting a scene in the restaurant with Ricky, and um, <laughs> it was my turn to get out and come, and I got out of the booth and fell on the floor. <laughs> and I had to 
just lay there and laugh because they're filming me uh, getting up and suddenly, poop, I'm not, uh, poop, I'm not in the shot. And it was, uh, it, the, the place was full of actors and crew and extras. And I didn't just want to like quick get up and pretend it never happened. So I just laid, I just kind of laid on the ground for a minute and just laughed about it. <laughs> just laughed about it. Okay. So yes, I was a little tired because I had just come off my whirlwind Las Vegas weekend last week. Yeah, because I think this was Tuesday. What? On the couch? Go ask Timmy. Go ask Timmy and Timmy will help you. Um, so, oh, my live stream is lagging. I don't know why. Um, Okay, so anyway, that's a blooper. That's a blooper I can tell you about. Okay, my favorite song is by Wham, and Megan says. Uh, what is your favorite song? Uh, my favorite song, I don't even know the artist, um, but the, the hook of the lyrics, maybe, maybe Angela will know the song and she can tell everyone. The hook says something like, yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. But I'm not. I'm broken. I say it's under control when it's out of control. And I know it. It's so hard to admit it. But being honest is the only way to fix it. So let the truth be told. It may be called Let the Truth Be Told. I don't know, it's a faith-based song and it's about people pretending that everything is fine when they're really hurting. And uh, I can relate to that because, especially especially when my son was in the neonatal intensive care unit, well, actually they both were, but when the first one um, was in there, and it was honestly a battle of life and death. And I would go to church every Sunday and people would say, where's your son? How's your son? When is he coming out? When is he coming home? And this was months and months. And I would go to church and I would say, it's fine. It's fine. He's, he's, he's fine. Because if I let the truth be told, I would just be a waterfall of tears that I wouldn't be able to stop. And I just told myself, you have no time to go into a depression right now. You have no time to sit there and cry about it and pity what's going on. And I just wouldn't let myself. I wouldn't let myself. I mean, I would go home and I would cry and I would write in my journal and I would, you know, try to let my feelings out, but in public, I was like, I'm not just going to be blubbering in the lobby of church, bawling my eyes out. And then, and then I also thought if I do that, if I allow myself to, to express verbally all these attacks and thoughts coming against my mind, then I will lose faith. And I don't want to lose faith. Have you guys ever read the Old Testament? Have you ever read about Job? Job had all these bad things happen to him. All these bad things. Um, all 10 of his children were killed. I think all of his houses and property, they burned down or they collapsed or something. He lost all of his cattle, his herds, his sheep. He lost everything. And even his stinking wife, the one person you think is going to support you, says, why don't you curse God and die? And then, oh, you think that's not bad enough? Then he gets boils, painful boils, all over his body. And so his friends show up. Yay! His friends are going to comfort him. Nope. His friends are like, what did you do wrong? What did you do? You must have sinned against God that he's allowing all this stuff to happen in your life. Clearly, this is your fault. So he had nobody. But to me, the key verse of the entire book of Job, and I'm not a theologian or a scholar, but what hits me the hardest is when Job said, the thing 
which I had greatly feared has come upon me. So what does that mean to you guys? The thing which I greatly feared has come upon me. He was worrying about it. He was thinking about it. He was dwelling on it. He was thinking, what if something happens to my children? What if I lose everything? What if I go broke? What if I lose my health? What if it... So he's, it's like the law of attraction. It's like whatever you think about, you bring about. So I didn't, I wasn't gonna go around saying, well, the doctor said he had a 90% chance of dying. Um, Timothy has a hole in his heart. His lungs aren't developed. He can't breathe. I wasn't going to go around saying all the things that were wrong because I had to stand on the Old Testament scripture from Psalms that said, he will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I couldn't go by my emotions. I couldn't let my feelings run me. Back to our topic for today, never be discouraged. Yeah, I could have been discouraged in that situation, but I had to choose to, to when the doctor says, oh, he's probably gonna die, you know, I had to look at that doctor like, who, who are you talking to? I know you're not talking about my son because you don't know the God I serve. I'm not gonna talk about the mountain standing in my way. I'm gonna trust the mountain mover is gonna get that stuff out of the way and everything is gonna be fine. And maybe I've told you this before, but not only did they say Timothy was going to die, they said he was never going to walk and talk. And you guys have witnessed he's doing both. And Angela just said, my God is bigger than my storm. How true is that? Okay, happy birthday, Clarence Lopez. Everybody wish Clarence Lopez a happy birthday. Okay, all right. How long did it take to do a Dar Man photo shoot? Oh, we did a Dar Man shoot for the t-shirts. I don't know, maybe that was an hour. Maybe two hours at the most because we had to wait for the shirts to come. It was super short. I think it was less than two hours. Okay. Eman, it's your birthday too? Well, happy birthday. And Vias is still talking about how we need a full page ad in the newspaper. If you guys didn't see the TikTok gets kicked out of the office. Um, that one is the one where I played Barb and I was just gung-ho on taking out a full page ad. Jarrell wants to know why Elijah wants gummy bears. Well, what kid doesn't want candy? I used to just... I used to be obsessed with candy. As a matter of fact, when I was, uh, got my first job babysitting, I would take all my babysitting money and I would buy all kinds of candy and junk food and fruit roll-ups and treats. And my brother would steal them from me. So my dad made my uh, bookshelf where I have a cupboard at the bottom. <laughs> he put a thing on it with a padlock so I could keep it from him. But my dad and I, we're not always the brightest bulbs. <laughs> so didn't even occur. I was like, who is stealing my candy? I have a lock on this. Did not occur to either of us. Uh, my mom would have figured this out. She's, she's the common sense one. My dad and I are more like reading books and writing and telling jokes and being inspirational where my mom is very like, like an engineer. She figures everything out. So I had this cupboard the bottom that you could open with a lock on it so no one could get to my candy, but there was a drawer on top. Well, my brother was smart, like my mom, he's in construction, he's an engineer. He figured out he could pull the top drawer out, reach his hand in and down into the cupboard and steal my snacks that I worked so hard buying with my babysitting money. <laughs> Okay, uh, Iman wants to know if I'm a Muslim. No, I am not. I am a Christian. Uh, my mom doesn't let me buy candy. She gets angry if I bring candy home. Yeah, it's not good for you. Uh, an occasional treat. I, I had some candy last night. Uh, your videos are amazing, Catherine. God bless you. Thank you, Emise. Did I say your name right? Emise. Uh, do you have any tips on how to move on from a guy who doesn't feel the same? Yeah, yeah, so, okay, he doesn't, so I'm assuming that means that you like him and he doesn't like you the same way, is that right? Okay, so 
you have to start, this is where the self introspection comes. You have to start asking yourself why you want to be with a person who doesn't feel the same way about you. Why do you, Emiche, 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 Emiche. I'll try to remember that. Why do you want to be with a person who doesn't love you the same way you love them? What is it about yourself or about your thoughts about yourself that you think you deserve less? Where you think you don't deserve to be with someone who loves you and cares for you and will treat you with the same respect that you have? Why? These are all questions you need to ask yourself and maybe you need to get out a notebook and write them down. Ask yourself why you want to be with someone who doesn't love you the same way. What is it that you think that you don't deserve to be with someone who will treat you well or who will love you the same way? Why do you want to be with someone who, who doesn't feel the same way about you? Do you have self-esteem issues? Do you have worthiness issues? Do you have something where you feel like you're not going to get anybody better, where no one else is going to love you and you feel like you have to settle. These are just a, a few little questions kind of in the same realm, but you need to get on that train of thought and start peeling back the layers like an onion. Just keep peeling back. Once you answer that question, go, go at least seven layers deep. So if I were to, if, so let's just do like a little example. Well, I, I, I don't want to get over him because I love him. Well, why do you love him? Well, then you answer that question. I love him because he's like, he's so good looking and he's so good at sports and we would just have cute babies together. Well, why is it so important that you have cute babies together? Well, because I, I, this may be a completely off train of thought, but do you see how I'm, I'm peeling back each layer? Okay, each layer is what you feel about that then okay well i think he he would be the perfect person for me but if he doesn't love you why do you want to be with someone who doesn't love you well maybe he will learn to love me over time maybe i can talk him into loving me well why do you want to talk somebody into loving you well because i don't i don't know if i'm ever going to meet anybody as special as him well do you have to meet somebody as special as him do you see where I'm going, where each question you answer, and answer honestly, don't lie to yourself. Each question you answer honestly would bring up another question. It's really important that you guys spend, you know, don't be on social media 24 hours a day. Don't be scrolling. Take at least 15 minutes a day where you can be with yourself and you can be quiet and you can get to know who you are, what your thoughts and feelings are. Because the more you get to know yourself, the more you're going to make the right choices where you're going to be aware of what are your likes, what are your dislikes, what's working for you, what isn't working for you. And, and many people have many problems in life because they don't take that time to be alone to read their Bible, to read the scripture, to pray, to just sit in quiet and just, you know, meditate, ask yourself questions, find out, find out who you are, find out who God says you are. Catherine, I've been pretty down lately because you lost your Instagram and I wasn't myself today. I lost my appetite. Well, girl, go get something to eat. Go get some tasty dumplings. You need to eat. You've got to keep your energy up. Get to know who you are and whose you are, Angela said. Exactly. Okay, Catherine, you are really great to give advice. You would do a great job as a motivational speaker. Thank you. I probably will be someday. Um, I've never been to Israel, but they have motorcycle clubs there with Christians, Jews, Muslims, etc. Oh, that's interesting. You think old is gold. Um, sometimes it is, but sometimes it isn't. So it's not about whether old is gold, it's about whether it's still working. So if your company is losing clients and nobody's uh, showing up anymore, then you have to rethink your strategy. If something is working, keep doing it. Then old might be gold, but if it stops working, then you gotta explore something else. Okay, so no, actresses don't tell their age because they wanna be able to play a wide variety of roles. Uh, as you guys notice with the Darman videos, I'm playing characters in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, and sometimes their 60s. So 
Whatever age you think I am is fine with me. People should not go to war with each other over religion, in my opinion. Absolutely. Uh, what will your reaction be if you met a Muslim? I have Muslim friends, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um, before I forget, I'd like to thank you for helping me control my candy addiction on Instagram. Aw, you're welcome. When did you first start acting? Honestly, I was in um, grade school. I was in grade school when I did my first play. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, so Iman keeps saying he wants me to say Allah is the best. Okay, well, his opinion is Allah is the best. You're allowed to have whatever opinion you want to have. It is your life. Okay, so I think God is the best. So we all have our own opinions, and that should not cause us to be at war with each other. Okay, uh, Lily wants to know if I will eat crispy braised noodles. I don't even know what that is. Um, Jitterbug is telling me she's from Australia. Nightmare is telling me uh, he's Muslim. Uh, so let's see. Why did you say tick tock tick instead of tick tock when you played Barb? I, it wasn't in the script, but I thought it would be funny since she's an old lady who's out of touch with reality and doesn't know anything about social media. She's into newspapers. I thought it would be funnier if I didn't know how to say it correctly the first time. So that's why. Um, masks are mandatory for many people over 12 here. Yeah, you know, a lot of places here, they make, if you're over two, you have to wear a mask, like at the children's hospital. I can't take Elijah anymore when I take Timmy to the children's hospital because he's two and they want you to wear a mask if you're two. Um, the place I take him to daycare, you have to wear a mask if you're over five. So I think that's better than two. Um, is your son special? Is he in a special program for autistic kids? No, he's not. Um, I think maybe he should be. I don't know. I tried talking to the school system about that, uh, about whether he should be in a different class. Because right now, I believe he's in a class just for kids with learning disabilities. But um, yeah, his, his goes a little deeper than that. What is my advice on how to avoid COVID? I don't know. I just would repeat everything they say to do. Keep your hands washed. Keep your immune system boosted. Um, get enough sleep. You know, anytime your immune system's down, you're more susceptible to catching stuff. And I think people have gotten lazy about washing their hands and sanitizing. So I don't know. I don't know how not to get it. I know people who are super, super, super safe and have done everything wrong, have social distance, haven't gone anywhere, and their whole family has gotten it. And they were like the safest people I knew. Then I know other people who are old, out of weight, overweight, out of shape, don't follow any of the rules, wear a mask, wash your hands, and they haven't gotten it. So it's kind of one of those mysteries. Okay, next question. I'm waiting for it. I have a couple minutes left and then I gotta go get ready to go to church. Any other questions that I missed, go ahead and retype them so I can see them. I took a COVID test and the results were negative. Yeah, I took one a couple weeks ago, it was negative. Um, I'll probably have to take one for next week's shoot. Usually, um, I keep asking questions. I love Perth. Okay, well, if there's no more questions, unless you guys are busy typing them in, I want to say what you really means, what you say really means a lot to me. Thank you, Random Rotten. I appreciate it. Will you answer my Instagram DMs? Probably, I mean, I'll probably get to that after church. You shouldn't lose faith even if you lose a loved one and it's hard. Good advice, Orly, good advice. It's safe here in America, but in America it's popular. Are you a Star Wars fan? Uh, I mean, it's okay, I've watched it. I'm not like a big diehard fan. Uh, would you ever wanna go to Pakistan? Maybe, um, I'm not a big traveler. I don't really, 
Raul, I have acted with the Muslim men. I've actually shot quite a few films uh, with my Muslim friends. One of them, maybe I'll tell you about someday where the police showed up. That's for another day. Okay. I hope he doesn't get bullied. He's such a sweet kid. Thank you. Why did you say full page ad in the newspaper is your new marketing idea? I know that was kind of weird, right? That's what was written in the script. Sometimes when it doesn't make sense, I bring it up and ask if we can change it. And sometimes I just roll with it. I think for Barb's personality, uh, I think in her mind, it was a new idea because maybe before that they were only taking out half page ads in the newspaper. Okay. So I am going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to get ready to go to church with my family and I will see you guys next Sunday. You guys know, um, my new Instagram is Kat Norland, K A T. N-O-R-L-A-N-D. So come find me over on Cat Norland. And of course, I'm going to keep putting videos out for you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. And I will see you guys back here maybe next Sunday. I don't know. Should I go live next Sunday? It's Mother's Day. Maybe I should like take the day off and have everyone pamper me and make me pancakes or something. I don't know. You guys... You can DM me on my new Cat Norland Instagram channel and let me know if you think I should go live next week on Mother's Day or if I should be pampered instead. Timmy, Eli, you want to say goodbye to everyone? Yeah. yeah. You want to say, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. See you later. See you later. Bye. Thank oh. you for supporting me. What? Get, get your face in there. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel? Okay, so apparently he has a YouTube channel, Toblox. Is it T-O-B-L-O-X? Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys, you were just like, yeah. Bye-bye. All right, bye, y'all.